Hi, hope you're well. I had the privilege of being invited to Berlin recently for the Creator Summit EU, courtesy of Amazon's Influencer Program, an event that was focused more on fashion, beauty and lifestyle. So it was my absolute pleasure to catch up with the other old guy in the room, Mr. Robin Clevett, and ask him a few questions appropriately in the men's grooming section of the event. And this is how it went. So uh, we're in Berlin with Robin Clever at an Amazon event here at an amazing old uh, former dairy. Yeah. Uh, having a great time filling up. It's been really good. It's been great to meet you. I'm just glad you're here from the carpentry stroke woodworking community. <laughs> We're feeling a little bit out of our depth and definitely the oldest people in the room. Aren't yeah, we? yeah. Um, but also it's a good education. It is, absolutely. We've managed to carve out 10 minutes or so out of our lunchtime just to have a chat and have a, a couple of five five quick questions. Yeah, for each other. I thought it was quite useful for Absolutely. me to ask you some questions and you to ask me some questions. Yeah, that's so. right. So I'll, I'll go first. Okay. Robin Clever, carpenter, YouTuber, radio yeah. presenter, social media superstar. Oh, well, yeah, there um, you go. Five, five easy questions yeah. for you. First one, when did you start making and what was the first thing you made? In terms of video, in terms of woodwork? In terms of woodwork. Okay, so the very first thing I made, I would say, was for myself as a business, um, it was a recession and I lived in a big council, a big council estate on a council house that had a little concrete driveway and I used to make bits and pieces for myself, practice out, out the front. Someone came past and said, can you make me some window frames? And I said, of course I can. I don't know how long they'll take me or how good they'll be. But that was the first thing I properly made. Fantastic. So not just a mess then, you actually made a window no, frame. That's really proper. impressive. So people know you off your YouTube for mostly constructional sort of things. So obviously you've done roofs yeah. with Keith Brown, our, our yeah. YouTube pal. Yeah. Um, what else do you do? Have you ever done fitted furniture, for example? Yeah. In, in fact, um, as a carpenter and joiner, I, was, um, I learned in a recession. So there was no job so i had to go and take any work i could which involved if someone said one day come and help fit a kitchen i'd go and help fit a kitchen i had a passion for the craft in terms of joinery as well i spent a lot of college days doing fine joinery and then um so it was kind of like one day i might be building roofs the next day i might be trying to make a cupboard for example so yeah i've done a lot of fitted furniture over yeah. the years i don't generally cut a lot of product up now to make cupboards i get yeah. someone else to do that yeah fair enough you have people to do people, that no, yeah, no, no people. you're a superstar yeah <laughs> um okay random question natural timber have you ever had to fell a tree yourself or process it into planks do you know what i have actually felled a fair few trees in my garden and it's been a real learning curve. I've got a really good friend, Clay, who's like at the other end of the timber industry. He is the most amazing tree surgeon. He's a tree wizard. He's taught me unofficially how to safely fell a tree. So I have felled trees, but as far as cutting them up, I've got another good guy who's got a beautiful little mill who, who actually mills up my boards for me. Fantastic. Yeah, okay, that's, that's a bit of a longer question than I thought it was, yeah. a longer answer than I thought it was gonna get, impressive. So. Back on social media again, you, you seem to be all over social media and you're pushing it quite a lot. Right. That's, that's you know, not a bad thing. Do you see a time when at that aspect of your life takes over from the carpentry? Do you know, this is probably an amazing question and I get asked that by a lot of other carpenters or builders or even, you know, just interested people. They say, why do you do it and what's the purpose of doing it? So the first purpose for me doing it is to share my knowledge I'm 53, I want to retire by the time I'm 60, hopefully. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop making and doing, but what I need to do in between now and then is share my knowledge, assist the colleges, um, assist the apprentices out there because you can't learn it all in college. What you can do is learn from experience. You can't all come and work with me or indeed other tradespeople, but what you can do is watch other people's experiences. So that's probably my sort of main reason for, for doing it. Amazing. Okay, well, last question, because we're only doing yeah. five each, because uh, we haven't got long. Uh, it, there's a classic question, knowing what you know now, what would you tell your 16 year old self or your 21 year old self? Let's, let's not go back that far. Okay. Knowing what you know now, what yeah. would you tell yourself when you were about 30? Okay, so when I was about 30, I was doing this chaotic kind of anything anyone asked me to do, driven by insecurity. Will I have enough work next week? Will I get paid? And so basically you find yourself in a scatterbrain kind of lifestyle where someone says, come and do this this day. The next day I'm doing something else. I'm complete, always filling the van up, emptying the van. I learned that there was a time in my life where I had to try to do what I enjoyed doing. And as soon as I said to myself, I'm, not, no, I'm no longer going to fit kitchens other than my own kitchens, for example, there's enough people who like doing that. 
I love building roofs. So I spent that period of my life from 30 onwards before I got married and after I got married, just concentrating on doing what I love, roofs. I honed my craft. I became well known for it. And that's my advice is stick to what you know and stick to what you love. If you don't like hanging gates, don't hang gates. Solid advice there. Thanks, Robert. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, it's, for been these a, five it's, it's been, been amazing. Pleasure. It's been see amazing. You. Thank you. And if you, need, if you want to see my five questions answered on Robin's channel, check those out as well. So there you go. Always a pleasure to chat with Robin, perhaps even more so when you're out of your comfort zone in another environment altogether. It was a fantastic trip, inspirational and educational. And I'd like to say thanks so much to the Amazon Influencer Program for extending the invitation and to all the attendees who were absolutely delightful and very accommodating to a couple of old guys. Be sure to head over to Robin's channel to catch my answers to his questions. Thanks so much to Robin again for taking the time to have a chat and I'll catch up with you folks again very soon. Take care.